5,000 people would die from the increased levels of space radiation. But of course, this would still represent only a relatively small increase in the overall incidence of cancer. So it's not going to be catastrophic. It'll be something to be concerned about, but it won't be a, a catastrophic event. And certainly by the time it happens, uh, civilization will have figured out how to deal with it. The field will come back. In the case of Mars, we know that the field will not come back, and it has been gone for billions of years, so uh, the effect has been very, very serious on the Mars atmosphere. But on the Earth atmosphere, just a few thousand years of no magnetic field are not expected to result in a very large stripping of the atmosphere. Scientists now know that the magnetic reversal that is inevitably coming will have serious consequences for our descendants, but it won't be a disaster for planet Earth. And as our children's children's children wait for North to become South, they may find that a world without a strong magnetic field has its compensations. The great thing is that it would be possible to see the aurora just about every night all over the Earth. So London behind me, for example, we might be able to see great aurora just about every night of the year, shimmering and moving in the sky as the solar wind hits the atmosphere directly and it glows like a neon light. Aurora would be very uh, exciting. I can imagine a very interesting dynamic magnetic field outside of the Earth during the next reversal. I would love to see a reversal happen, but it would involve me living rather longer than I planned to, but that would be, would be very nice. In fact, it's one of the great tragedies of life. We never see how these things work out. I'd really like to know how it does it and why it does it, and uh, when will it do it again? Ha, 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 ha.